I'll be back. You know, he brought this German accent, but he was just showing his big muscle and not talking much at that time. Conan the Barbarian, blah, 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 Terminator. He's a very good actor. But he started to open some doors in America where foreigners, actors, could uh, make some room. Others, uh, what was the name of this uh, Italian actor? Uh, Stallone. When he came to America, uh, his English was not at best. So he had troubles to, to, to get started. There is an amazing movie where you can see Michael Chekhov acting. Uh, it's, it's, the name is Spellbound. Very popular in Turkey as well. Yeah? Yes. <clears throat> so... Um, Your experience about uh, a movie festival, which we were, we were talking about, hmm. Smile? Well, first of all, since I'm, since I'm young, um, I was watching some movie on TV, and... Uh, when I was watching a movie, I was completely into the imagine, imaginary film. I mean, a state of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was paying attention to the dialogues. And sometimes, one sentence was like... <laughs> I could feel within myself, it, it was vibrating like real. And I used that uh, in my life uh, as guidance principle since I was not able to communicate much with, um, with my father receiving his advice as far as how to live my life uh, more harmoniously with more comfort not material comfort comfort within mm -hmm. and um, after studying engineering I was like, okay, I'm supposed to, see, to become a doctor of machines. He was scanning the vibration of big machines, big pump, big engine. And by experience, if you put some sensors in some very part of the machine, with experience, you can find out that this part or this part is going to soon break. So you can order an extra part, stop the production for a very short time, and and everybody is happy. As soon as it's, it, it was a costly um, maintenance, but as soon as two break down with the damage of collateral damage all, all around in the, in the production uh, uh, plant, I mean, they were saving a lot, lot, lot of money. When I entered that school, after a competitive examination, really hard, I saw a movie from uh, David Lynch. Dune. Mm -hmm. And when I saw this movie, I was like, wow, those guys in the movie, I never read the book. Mm -hmm. People said that the book were much better than the movie. Mm -hmm. But when I saw that movie and the guys, they were drinking some spice from some worms in, into the desert, big worms, their eyes turned blue and they, they became some, somehow aware. Some people would say spiritual, spiritually aware. Let's say aware. And watching that movie, I was like, wow, life deserves to be lived differently than everybody. Differently than just sticking to the collective consciousness. Uh, so I was supposed to be a doctor of machine and I saw people very much in, into slavery, slavery with the machine. When the machine is break down, when the tools are broken, when there is no more electricity, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm like, come on guys, use your hand, use your creativity, do something. When I graduated from this, this school, uh, okay, I was an engineer, so I knew how to do quite a few things. 
And if I didn't know how to do some things, I knew where to get the information in order to finally reach my goal. And I, look, I looked at the people uh, in, the, in, in Paris, the last year was in Paris, and I saw the people becoming fatter and fatter and fatter. Like huh? Like yeah, also like in the movie Dune, right? <laughs> 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 Always, uh, well, it was no cell phone at that time, but machine. Uh, I'm like, I cannot be a doctor of machine. I cannot um, design, create, invent more machines because I felt that inside of our own body, there is a special part which is so much more magical than any machines that have been created by mankind. So the cinema is the tool of the investigating by yourself? The cinema is? Is the tool of investigating, investigating uh, investigation uh, of the uh, human body? For, for, for me, the movie, movie industry uh, gave me some guidance. Uh, there is an amazing... So, uh, after, uh, so I worked, I worked in different fields, but not as engineer, because I, I, I felt that humanity was more and more slaves of machines. Mm -hmm. But we are more than machines. What I received from the, from the movie uh, industry when I was younger was cert certain, certain guidance, certain messages, guidance in life. Because I realized later when, when someone is writing a script, uh, it's like, uh, he receives information, you know? And sometimes the energy, hello, <laughs> morning, how are you doing? <laughs> sometimes, um, when I was in the modeling business, some clients told me, uh, what are you doing in, the, in this business? I'm like, well, you know, I'm, I'm getting well paid, it's fun, and I was bringing my creativity to different type of project that can be pictures, that can be commercial, and it gave me a lot of free time to keep searching the things that were really interesting me. And one day a woman, uh, I was working in Italy uh, for a famous brand, Engineering. No, no, I was in the modeling business. Oh. <laughs> no, in, in engineering, there are a lot of also manipulation into that. Um, I'm kind of like a free electron. I like, I have the feeling that I'm visiting Mother Earth and I love to discover new countries. And if I can bring my my creativity, if I br can bring my, my, uh, my contribution to any type of project, uh, I'm more than happy to do that. That woman, in the, in a, it was a big campaign in, uh, in Italy, and she told me, uh, Patrick, what are you doing in, in, in the modeling business? So as I said, I told her, well, you know, I'm getting well paid and it's fun. And I asked her, why do you ask me that? And she said, well, because acting is your field. Oh, yeah? Okay. Before in America, I met a few actors. A little Frenchman, Tattoo, Hervé Vilches. From, uh, he was in some James Bond, Goldfinger. Uh, he was one of the co-stars of a TV show in America called uh, Fantasy Island. And he was French, really, really sensitive guy. And we met, I helped him to move. Uh, so I went to one of his ranch and, and we stayed friends. And he told me, we are, we are born actor or we're not. Okay. Then came back to, to France and the modeling business was going down. And I was like, I'm tired of this. I'd like to, to humbly either as an actor or a director later. I'd like to, 
uh, offer certain guidance through the dialogues to the young kids who cannot speak with their father or who don't have any parents and are searching for some guidance to create a wonderful life. So these seven art and, and theater are amazing tools for that. To invite people to... Most of the people in, on the, in the world are scared. They are controlled. They don't dare to do things. But when they look at a movie, they're going to associate themselves with this character or this other character. And if this character in the movie is uh, going for a very experience that the person was scared or afraid to have his in his in his own life, associating with the character, if you observe me, your level of consciousness is higher than when you look at uh, nothing special. So. It's an amazing tool, theater and, 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 and cinema, to help to invite, to invite this humanity to raise their level of consciousness, which can help humanity to live more harmoniously on Earth. I'm visiting Earth. I'm not from here. Since I'm born, I wonder what I do on this planet. When I observe most people, I would never dare to behave the way such person choose to behave. Already young at school, I was like, what am I doing here? The seven heart is an amazing tool to uh, uh, co-create a better world. The trouble is, <laughs> the trouble is that um, some of the powers controlling festival, controlling the production, controlling what's going to be in the movie, blah 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 the blah blah. Classification, the standardization, and the formatage, framing, framing. framing. Yes. Thanks. The supreme creator, there are some, uh, some directors. Je t'avais parlé d'un film qui était fait par un Turc. Il, il vivait dans. C'était un. Dans, ouais, dans des. Et puis il y avait un petit hôtel. Et il y avait une jeune femme dedans qui aidait un. C'est ça Voilà. Wow Those type of movies, you know, for me gives me a reason to bring my contribution. Seven art. When we look at uh, older civilization in India, uh, I mean, close to, close to Turkey, you had the Sumeria between the Tiger and the Euphrat. Amazing civilization. India as well. When people were doing theater in India, as soon as they entered the scene, it was a sacred place. Sacred, sacred place. Mm -hmm. They were performing for free to entertain the gods. So they were not showing animal sex. They were not, not showing violence. They were showing beautiful things. Truth and beauty are together. Um, this movie, uh, Winter Sleep, there are movies like that all over the world. Um, for anybody in the art industry, behind the camera, in front of the camera, it's very important to travel. Because once we travel, at some point, we, we reach a state of beingness where we can feel home everywhere. 
We just have to open our heart. Once we do that, we're going to meet some people with their heart open as well. And we have fantastic time, fantastic sharings. And at the end, you have grown and I have grown from the exchange. So, for some power in place on earth, the seven art, they fear it. <laughs> they fear it because when you look at news, bad 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 news. <laughs> when you look at uh, adver advertising, buy this, you're going to be that, blah, blah. This is all lies. In some some of the some of amazing movies or documentaries kindness and a real point of view is offered and the feeling i have or the idealist, idealistic vision i have about it is that more people are going to wake up awaken to this aspect um, when you look at, for example, in Japan, have you been to Japan? No, I, I desire. In Japan, when you look at or you write human being, human being, human being with a kanji, this is just amazing. For it's being among beings, and beings, the kanji of beings, it's like that. It's a beings. Beings. Human beings. Human beings, yeah. But so human beings in, in when you write evolve it in to beings. Huh? Human beings is a evolved or beings, normal type no, of no. human beings the way you write human beings on a je peux utiliser ça pour e Où est-ce que je peux That is human beings. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. This is very old writing, kanji. Kanji, ah. very, very old. So that's human beings. Uh, yes. It's a human heart. Yeah. Mankind. This means beings. Des êtres en français. <laughs> Justement. Hein? Justement être. Et ça, ça veut dire among. Donc les êtres humains, human beings, are beings among beings. Ah bon? But now, if we go within this, what does this symbolize? It symbolizes this. In the beings, it means we are supposed to help each other. It's one human being mm -hmm. which is supported by another one. Is the help? Helping each other. Each other. On earth, we're not supposed to fight. We're not meant to kill each other, we're supposed to help each other. And then, when we go inside this... For... for uh, what, what does this symbolize for you? Is the flag? No. Let the child within. Let, 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 the child let, let, let your child within... Alive. Yeah, yeah. What, the, your child within, we all have still a child within. What would that represent for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, to, uh, to find your childhood inside, alive, kind of. No, no. The, uh, if you sh show this uh, drawing to a child, what would he see, what would he see in it? Mm -hmm. This is a door. Door. Yeah. What is the most important thing for you in life? What for you? What is the most uh, important thing? Most important. Uh, number one. Number one. Very difficult. Most of the things are at the uh, highest point. My my belief. My belief. What? what what is the most important thing in life for you? My gut. Huh? My gut, my belief, uh, my religion, 
Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean, but there but is something, concrete, there concrete. is something higher. Yeah. More concrete. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my wife. Go deeper. What do, what does everybody search since we are a child? Qu'est-ce qu'on recherche depuis tout jeune comme des fous? On a besoin de quoi? What do we need the most? Very difficult. No. To explain. Simple. Simple. Go in your heart. Go in your heart. Go within your heart. <laughs> I'm crazy, huh? <laughs> yes. So, yeah. the most important thing. Most important thing. Cinema. As a child, when you are four or five years old, what do you want the travel. most? Travel. Huh? Travel. Travel. And move the culture. Travel. Is in, uh, when I was a child, my dream uh, was to investigate the other worlds. Uh, outside of my country, outside of my... Uh, yeah, but before life. that, before that, when you were, when you were like that, what was the most important for you to receive and to give? Simple. Four letters. Toys. Huh? Toys. Before that. <laughs> Very difficult <laughs> to imagine. imagine. Love. Oh. Difficult, huh? Not difficult. Not difficult. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Light. Truth. So, human beings, les êtres humains, nous sommes des êtres parmi des êtres. Dans être, being, on est censé s'entraider. Et nous sommes tous une porte, a door, de l'amour, la lumière et la vérité, en harmonie avec le, notre niveau de conscience. You investigated this in Japan. I've been searching a lot of stuff. I've been using when I was searching uh, to be the best engineer. I I search for a lot of things, a deeper a deeper understanding. Um, then, to get back to the movie business, when when I decided to. <coughs> When I decided to, when people were telling me, hey, uh, you've got the face of an actor, hey, you look like an actor, hey, you look like this actor, hey, you look like this actor, hey, you look like this actor, I'm like, fuck it, man, we are one. You are unique, I'm unique, Jelal is unique. Nobody looks like somebody else. We could be brothers, but we're unique. We are a multi-dimensional beings. We just see the flesh body, but they are parts of ourselves that we cannot see with, our, uh, with our, own, our own eyes. Sometimes we can feel it with energy and stuff like that. So when people were telling me, why don't you become an actor, man, uh, blah, 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 blah. I was like, well, if it's my destiny, it will come to me naturally. And then one day, uh, I was like, no, 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 no. Like any artist, a sculpture, I need to uh, take some classes. I need to sharpen my tools. I need some tools. I need the best tools so I can go do a good work. A friend of mine was an ex-KGB agent. Really great guy, Russian. And he said, ah, ah. Euh, tu as envie de faire euh, du cinéma. Alors il faut que tu t'intéresses à Michael Chekhov. Chekhov Chekhov euh, il, il, Anton Chekhov, il est de sa famille Oui, 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 oui. Blatt, c'est évident, c'est son, son neveu. Ah, d'accord. One of the most amazing actors on earth. He was the best actor of Stanislavski. And he was so good in Russia, 
that if he wouldn't have left Prussia, they would have killed him. Because the guy was a free spirit. He was so hypersensitive that on one, uh, uh, in one play, he looked a certain way. Two days later, it was different public. It looked different. Wow, what's going on? How oh, come? And then uh, he had to leave because he, was, he, he couldn't be controlled by the bureau of, in, in Russia. Soviet era. Yeah. Uh, some others in Russia got to... <laughs> <laughs> Next. They were not disturbing anyway, uh, again, the system. And in, in East Germany, he met some student of uh, Steiner. Wow! Steiner was a, um, uh, a mystic. Steiner is, you write it this way. German? Hmm? German? Yeah, uh, was it German, Austrian, German, one of both? Mm. I don't recall. And uh, when he, he grabbed some of the consciousness of Steiner and brought that to the artistic world, to the actor, comedian or actor. Comedian, for some French people, some, um, some uh, some actors who are 70 years old, uh, 75, they say, comedian, comedian, celui qui fait comme. Monkey see, monkey do. But that's it. <laughs> Actor, actresses, you incarnate a being, a personage. The walk is different, the way to stand is different, the psychology is different. It's really, really creative process. With the American uh, teaching, Actor Studio. Chaplin? Uh, oh, Chaplin was before that. Actor Studio. Actor Studio. Founder. Founder. With, with this, with the, um, the psychiatric, emotional memory. Uh, Serhat, do you remember when you were five years old? You were not supposed to uh, take this uh, jelly. You were forbidden. But you wanted it so much that look, nobody was around. And you went to grab a spoon. You got caught. Do you remember you felt like shit? Go get this emo emotion. <coughs> okay, bring that to your, to your character now. It's like, hello, what is this? It's insane. This is psycho stuff. Why Marlon Brando, why many big actors had to go see a shrink? Because the tools that they were using was like fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Chekhov, he went to France and he presented the, the three sisters and the Persian people. Oh, I I was like, okay, they don't understand shit, so... <laughs> he went to England, Dart Dartingston Hall. Some artists were uh, staying in this residence, and Michael Chekhov was a free man. Hey, Sirat, you're in the movie business. Hey, I, I, I understood that for the actors. So the guy was sharing, you know? It was like, no, it's mine, I keep it secret. It's a copyright, Michael Chekhov, blah, blah, blah. So, some, some British, some Swedish took some of his tools, he went to New York, and really quickly came to LA. But he was not too big, he had this Russian accent when he spoke, and in the industry of Hollywood, Hollywood, the sacred wood, not much sacred, huh? but it's just a name. And they were like, uh, it, it, to become a star in America, there are certain rules. We won't talk about that. It's classified. 
But you need to speak like an American and with a... Uh, we, we, only Arnold Schwarzenegger, because he became a, a member of the clan of the, of the Kennedy. I'll be back. You know, he brought this German accent. But he was just showing his big muscle and not talking much at that time. Conan the Barbarian, blah, 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 Terminator. He's a very good actor now. But he started to open some doors in America where foreigners, actors, could uh, make some room. Others, uh, what was the name of this uh, Italian actor? Uh, Stallone. When he came to America, uh, his English was not at best. So he had troubles. To, to, to get started. There is an amazing movie where you can see Michael Chekhov acting. Uh, it's, it's, the name is Spellbound. Et il va te dire, uh, c'est là, il ne faut pas l'interviewer, il lui parle trop longtemps, il, il met une tête comme ça. Au moins avec les académiciens, ils répondent à la question et puis merci, au revoir. Non, c'est un peu ça. Spellbound, ça c'est un film de, de Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Et, et tu peux voir dedans Michael Chekhov qui joue. Il interprète un. Uh, at some point, he's, he's like this old character is like um, a really uh, a very experienced teacher, and he's coaching this um, this young doctress who is helping uh, the other character to feel better. Not shrink, but psycho or something. And at some point, he's, he, he, he's using a matchbox to light up a, a pipe. And poof, there is something wrong with the matchbox. Everything goes. Most of the actors, actor studio, is like... <laughs> this stuff, you know, this accident. Michael Chekhov, with his consciousness, brought that to the scene. It, it brought a, a, a realism to the scene and, and he kept, in, he stayed in his character and, and the scene is, is just fantastic. A little bit, in, it's like the film uh, from Kurosawa, one of his last films. Uh, um, Richard Gere is in it, and this old lady is surviving the atomic bomb. Uh, at night, she's going uh, outside her house, and she she's wearing an umbrella because it's raining a bit. And at some point, the wind is so strong that poof, the umbrella turns into a tulip. This is magical for, for the, for the uh, director. You cannot control that, but this is magic into the scene. It makes it even more real. So this tool of, of, uh, of seven art, I'll give you, if you're interested, two books mm -hmm. of Michael Chekhov. When you look at Gary Cooper got his Oscar with Michael Chekhov, Anthony Quinn, became a better actor with the teaching, the coaching of Michael Chekhov. Marilyn Monroe, uh, Chekhov was, was in LA, he was uh, sick, he was, he, uh, and he didn't want to take any more uh, students in his uh, master class. But someone was like, hey, Marilyn Monroe, you know, she's good, she's a good actress, could you please try? And at the end he said, okay. When you look at the last movie of Marilyn Monroe, before she got killed, oh, um, you'll cut that, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, it's called The Misfit. Wow. A range of acting <laughs> became so wide. Why? Because Chekhov, integrating some of Steiner tool, some of his consciousness, is using his soul in the artistic creation process. One example, you don't need to take some uh, crack, the drug, 
-hmm. You don't need to take crack. You don't, or you don't need to get beaten by three people really badly to play a character who just got beaten to death with the imagination, with what we know already on our, on our life, what we have experimented, and with our imagination and the soul, we can create all that. It's not harmful. It's even fun. What is, there, there are uh, uh, two books to read about Chekhov. There is an H also here, I think. Um, and there is an amazing book, but it, since you, you, mm -hmm. you understand and, and read English, it's, it's about when you, if you want to go behind the camera, because you enjoy directing yourself, no? Yes. Yeah. So this, uh, this is, it's to the director, and to the director and maybe the playwright. You can find it on, uh, on Amazon and it, it was the, the right harm to the director and the, play, the playwright. To the director and the playwright. Yeah. The script writers? Huh? It's the script writers. No, it's it's the in the theater. Yes, playwright. The, 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 in the okay. it's kind of like the director of the play, of the theater. Okay. Metteur en scène. Metteur en scène. Okay. Uh, when you read that, it's from a certain. But you're gonna leave me uh, an email. I will send you all those infos. Huh? Okay. If you want, okay. Bernard something. This is all the consciousness of Michael Chekhov, mm -hmm. but this time, for the team with behind the camera. For me, a director, if, I, if one day I have to direct a movie, I'm not a director who's going to say, you do this, you do this, you do that, we're going to do that, we're going to do that, we're going to do that. An example, uh, Kurosawa. Kurosawa was writing his script. He was doing the storyboard. When he's, he was doing the storyboard, drawing, really quickly, everybody on the set was like, Wow, Kurosawa-san, uh, Kyo, uh, oh, psycho, super, super, oh. When he was taking time to do the drawing, it was not so beautiful. Um, he was also doing some painting and he was creating some music. I have a question to ask you. If uh, they were shooting, uh, uh, they were shooting with film, if uh, Kurosawa, at the end of the day, if he had film in the box, the scene that he had in vision, do you think he was happy? Happy? Happy. Satis happy. Satisfied. Satisfied. You think he was satisfied? Yes, of course. Satisfied. No. Oh, no. He, he will repeat? No. After that? No. Because when you do a storyboard, mm -hmm. when you envision uh, a certain scene in the film you're trying to build, to, to, yeah, to create. If at the end of the day he had the scene exactly as he, he envisioned it, he was sad. Because if, for example, if you were the main character in the scene, and if Seral was the counterpart in the film, and I'm the dear, I'm, imagine I'm Kurosawa, so I'm like, guys, when you're ready, let's go. And if you do exactly what was written in the script, you wouldn't have maybe got a chance to bring your creativity and Selal as well. So Kurosawa and some other big directors, I believe, just like uh, Sokurov, if a character, if, if an actor is saying, hey, I could do it this way. And uh, the an engineer of light would say, hey, oh yeah, you know what? We're going to bring the light here. 
and the girl is going to say, and me, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, oh, I can do that. And the guy behind the camera is like, oh, you know what? We're going to grab this angle. Actor is advising to the director. He's not advising, he's offering, he's, offering. he's proposing, proposing some creativity. So, provided by actor. Huh? Provided by actor. actor. Yeah, because the person behind the camera, they are artists. But the people in front of the camera, they are artists too. They are not just moped. Sometimes, poof, they receive guidance. And so, if at the end of the day, Kurosawa was getting a scene much better than the one that he had envisioned or imagined, he was happy because it was synergy, synergy of your soul, synergy of his soul, synergy of the, the person behind the camera, synergy of the people with, the li with light. It makes sense. This is heart. This is the seven heart. Some people are using it to manipulate all humanity. We can use it to invite humanity to invite humanity to awaken, express more love, share more love, feel more joy, a better world. Uh, what is the role model models for you in France as a player, actor, actress, like uh, the other worlds from, as you, as you mentioned, crossover from Japan, Ah, okay. Um, <coughs> as far as directors, okay. Um, some of the movie from uh, from uh, what's the name of this guy? Uh, the one who did uh, my school. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, Henri Verneuil. Henri Henri Verneuil. If you look at the movie. E Comicar. I was not astonished not to be able to find the DVD in France because it's strong. <laughs> Why? He's French? He's French. But we cannot find this? I found it in Germany on the internet. Because the message of the movie is really important. In this book, to the director and the playwright, Michael Chekhov is inviting all the artistic um, uh, players behind the camera, in front of the camera, to always remember what type of trace will you, will you leave in the heart of the viewers. In the movie industry, in America and everything, it's like, me, 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 I'm the best. Look, look all my fake muscle, look at your fake nose, all that bullshit. I met in America Dustin Hoffman, short man. Pfft, so humble. So, me, 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 me. No, it's not that. Yeah. No, no. Uh, for me, a good, uh, a, a good uh, uh, director is like a chief of, of orchestra mm -hmm. who can create synergy with all the talent mm -hmm. and then the piece is one of the best a good actor is somebody who is serving the character the the the, the, mm, the protagonist and serving the story at best and the most important thing for me in movies is what are the messages most of the movie they, they, they advertise violence fear all type of shit some other movies if you look at La Belle Verte Colin Serrault she's a French director La Belle Verte was like wow Magnifique. Ouais, magnifique. Uh, I saw this uh, this Russian uh, movie which was made um, which was made in 2016. It's called The Secret of the Zohar. 
young director from 1978, Old Soul. The movie is... Some of the movie of Wim Wenders are amazing. Some Korean movie are amazing. For me, it's important for the people of the art industry to share. We have to stop limiting ourselves to our own country. France was the third country to produce movies. Third. The third. India, America, France. Uh, France is not the third anymore. And when you look at the quality, quality, the quality um, is different from the past. Past was perfect. Yeah, but, 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 but nowadays, because because in the old days, when you look at uh, uh, this movie uh, against war. I think, it, I believe it's, is this Renoir who did that? The Illusion of War, uh, Jean, Gabin Jean Gabin is playing in it. And the guy had, the, had to sell some of the paintings of his father or grandfather in order to, to build, to, to do the movie. But the message of this is showing that going to war is insane it's not part it's not part of our true nature this is this is the power of this industry with people who still have dreams and are willing to co-create a better world. This tool is used to, for us to be completely manipulated and stay in the illusion and ignorance. We can use this tool for the other side. You will have to cut some stuff. <laughs> you know, you are all for Do you, Do you think that, you hmm? think that uh, hmm? does French cinema support the will that better world? in uh, contemporary now just what do you mean uh, just what a few more uh, intercultural communication uh, to broaden the other worlds and the motivations for others integrating the humanity and the uh, more close being more close the uh, Humanity, humanitarian values. Does uh, French industry, film industry, do uh, new French players contribute uh, in this process? Do you think? Can I pass this question because the answer is not going to be <laughs> uh, make us happy? <laughs> uh, um, I, I think it's important to focus on uh, uh, on on the bright side. Um, some people from other countries say that the country France has a big role to play in the future. Uh, the right of mankind came out in this civilization in France from the consciousness. When you look at today in France, the right of mankind are spoiled, are not uh, uh, honored in many ways all around France, within. France, the, the mission of France, as far as the world goes, in the big family of the world, was to uh, invite, to establish peace, but since France is selling weapons and all that shit, <laughs> it's not really working for peace, is it? Uh, the artistic side yes. of this country is not at its best level, level. Oh, for sure. T 
Turkey when was the magnific heavy hmm? magnific, magnific era for France. Uh, for me? Pioneer, pioneer of the what? Uh, I mean, but, uh, the humanitarian values including. The, the, it seems that the cinema has been, I don't like to say invented, but the Frères Lumière were the one in, in France who started to play with images, if I, re, if I recall. Huh? Um, I think that some of the movies uh, uh, made uh, after the Second World, World War to the 65, 70, where? Nouvelle huh? Nouvelle the period of the Nouvelle Vague. Yeah, but uh, with, with some of the work of uh, Renoir, for example, I forgot the, this movie about the illusion. Uh, I will send you this document, it's in, it's in French. Mm -hmm. This is a letter that uh, Alexander Sokurov uh, he's teaching in, in some universities to bring his consciousness to, to the kids uh, who are willing to become director and stuff like that. faire ce coup-là. Allez, mets ça. Un endroit pour la nuit. Et lui, shérif Je m'occupe de lui. Qu'est-ce qu'il a fait Je préfère pas savoir. Écoutez, je suis seul avec la petite ici. J'aimerais mieux pas. On restera pas longtemps. À manger. Vous avez jamais vu en ville? Je passe de temps en temps en hiver. 
J'ai un frère qui vit encore là-bas. Ensemble, on guidait les prospecteurs jusqu'au mini. Depuis que la mère de la petite est morte, je m'y fais plus tard. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Elle était malade l'hiver dernier. Je suis resté ici pour m'occuper d'elle, surveiller la maison. Sa mère est partie en ville chercher des médicaments. Puis... Une attaque, enfin un braqueur de banque. Elle est au mauvais endroit. Et vous C'est rare de voir un shérif de votre âge encore en vie. Il y a deux jours des gens qui ont besoin d'être mis en droit chemin. Alors je suis bien obligé de continuer. Emma Ça va, oui. C'est bon, je te faisais un petit tour. Surveillez-le, shérif Surveillez-le Qu'est-ce qu'il t'a pris, Franck T'avais pourtant prévenu. Les éleveurs de la région n'ont plus cassé toutes tes conneries. Pourquoi vous faites ça, shérif Vous n'êtes pas obligé. Il n'y a pas si longtemps, on était pareil. Le pays est en train de changer, Franck. C'est la fin des hors-la-loi dans ton genre. Shérif Livre-nous ton prisonnier Franck Tu sais pourquoi on est ici, mon vieux Qu'est-ce qu'il a voulu dire Tu les connais, ce type On va faire un seul coup, il n'y a pas longtemps J'arrive Ok, c'est bon Je vais m'aider à la sortir de là. Réfléchis bien, Franck On n'aurait pas fait assez des conneries comme ça Désolé, shérif. S'il m'attrape, je suis mort. Ici. Ok, mais je la lâche à la prochaine ville. Viens. 
Allez, viens, dépêche Hé hey. C'est pour la petite que je fais ça. Je crois pas que j'en ai fini avec toi pour autant. <rire> 